Have you ever set up a Google form for your students to fill out and then they spell their name wrong or they even uh, forget to put their name in? No! So, uh, wait, you haven't? Well, okay, well, I'm going to tell you anyways how you can actually set this one up. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can take your um, the, the names of your students and then place them into the Google form so that they, uh, okay, at least it reduces the... Um, the, the possibility of them choosing the wrong name here. So usually when you do this, uh, if you type in name, it's going to think Google Forms is going to think that you are going to set up a short answer. And then this gives the, the students an opportunity to maybe just write their first name or their last name or even misspell their name. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to do is to come over here. And I'm assuming that you've already got a spreadsheet with all of your students' um, IDs and their names. You're going to come over here and you're going to copy that and then you'll come back to your Google Form. And once you come back to Google Form here, you're going to set up a drop-down menu. And in here we've got option one and then we're going to paste our names. Boom, now we've got our students all set up with their names and their student numbers here. And I make this a required question on here. All right, so let's have a look now at our quiz here and we've got our uh, I'm logged in here and under my school account so they'll go ahead and they'll type in their name at gmail.com and they'll choose from this drop down menu here oh I guess that's a fake one yet yeah, it picked that one up okay so we've got this one here and uh, okay good so now they're gonna choose their name so there's our drop down menu and let's say it is Marion Lang. Okay, 967 Marion Lang. All right, and now they can, once they verify that this is the correct name, their correct email address, they'll go on to next and now they can start the quiz. So again, I haven't set up any questions in here, uh, but I'll go ahead and just submit it so that you can see what it looks like here. Now I'll come back here because I'm the one who made this. Uh, I can see I can create a spreadsheet here, and then I can see my uh, my students' responses. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the or the one student response that just came here came in here. We got the email address, and then we've got here Mary and Lang. And that way, once you uh, once you bring in all of your students, then you can order them. If you click on this one here, as soon as it opens up, it's taken a little while here. Okay, there we go. You can order these. Uh, from A to Z or Z to A. And then, of course, that's going to go according to their student number here, so their, their student ID. So I hope that this was quite helpful. And I don't know if I was not sharing my screen in the last part here. But uh, anyways, if, if you do have some questions about it, please do feel free to ask. And also, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe down below and sign up for my email list in the uh, description down below as well. Um, I send out all of my uh, free lesson plans from my previous videos, and I also send out a quick newsletter every once in a while. So I hope you like this, and I will see you all in the next video. As always, adios.